Good morning, Kobe. You look beautiful today. Defense of breakfast. I basically always eat yogurt in the morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I just finished putting on makeup and eating breakfast and putting on my clothes. It takes kind of a long time to, for me to put on clothes <laughs> because of my arm. Yeah. But today is Wednesday, yeah, and yeah, I'm just going to write on some papers. I think we have four papers to hand in, and I finished three of them. So before I can start on my master thesis, I need to finish this last paper. But yes, yeah, maximum 4,000 words, so can't be that bad. And yeah, I already started, so... But I got a request to make a new like room tour of my room here. So I think I'm going to show you that now. So yes, here is the entrance. I've still got my Gudetama slippers. <laughs> They're a bit more well used now, but they still work nicely. And here I have my kitchen with different kitchen stuff. I didn't have this many things last time, I think. I have my sink and the place where I dry my plates and stuff. A little refrigerator. Yeah, I don't have that much in here right now. Some fruits and vegetables and <laughs> yeah, drinks because there's a party on Friday. <laughs> no, Saturday. Yeah. And umeshu. Frederick loves umeshu. And yeah, here I have my bathroom. I got some more of these hangers that fit really well in Japanese apartments. And yeah, my bathroom is still pink. Not much has changed here. Here's my bed. And I did show you my new bed linen my new sheets. I really love these Disney cubes and they're so fluffy and nice. And yeah, then I have some different shelves that I use for... The first one I use for snacks, uh, the top one. The one underneath it is for makeup and stuff and yeah, this is also makeup. <laughs> and then for my books, tea and university papers and other papers. I'm not really using the air condition at the moment because it's so cold. And I just got a heater. I bought it with Frederick not long ago. It was like, yeah, the week when I was sick. And I have my desk with some papers and my kettle and stuff. So I'm going to leave the dormitory in like one and a half month. And we have this checklist of what we need to do, who we need to call. I need to call the electric power company and the internet. I need to change my address. I can't believe it's like, I'm only gonna stay here one and a half month more and it's so weird. But yeah, time flies by so fast. But luckily I will be back soon with Frederick. I need to get started. I'm so tired today. Today I went to the doctor Monday and yeah, he put on, like, he tied the thing with the metal plate around my arm again. Okay, so now it's about 12 and I'm going to make some lunch. Basically, I can't really cook right now, as you know, so I am eating a lot of university cafeteria food, but also cup noodles, and today I found some really interesting ones. So first I found this. It's a matcha cup noodle. The design is really, really cool, very Japanese. So it would be a great souvenir to bring home. Have you seen the pagoda here? It has more than five stories. And Michelle tried this one, so she told me that it was more of a, like a dessert-ish kind of noodle. But yeah, I found yakisoba chocolate noodles. Here are the cup noodles, and they kind of smell very, very mildly of matcha, but it's not very strong. So I have the cup noodles here. Be careful, I won't spill. <laughs> but. Yeah, the noodles are green, and then there's chicken, and then I think maybe there's octopus and also nigi in this. So, I need to try this. Maybe I just can't taste anything yet, but it doesn't taste like matcha that much to me. Maybe very subtle matcha taste. Mm, that's good. So here are the yakisoba noodles. It really smells like chocolate and... Well, there's not really any vegetables in it, as far as I can see, but interesting. Mm. 
Mm. I mean, it's okay if you like really sweet stuff. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I have one of those days where I just keep getting distracted. I keep looking at wedding stuff and stuff for holidays since we're going to Edinburgh again and also to Rhodes in Greece. I just keep looking at vacation things. I did write something, but now I'm really going to focus. <laughs> Oh well, I totally forgot to film <laughs> the rest of the day, but uh, Michelle and I just studied a bit and then we went to Rokomichi and met up with Sayaka. Sayaka was really nice to test my interviews for my master thesis, so I was so happy. Thank you Sayaka! But yeah, tomorrow is another school day, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. It wasn't very much, but I just hope that you enjoyed maybe a little bit of it. Today I found this book at a bookshop and it's called my bucket list but it's really cool that you can write your bucket list here like before and after it's both in japanese and english i thought i would use it when i can write again and yeah recently i've been drinking these it's kind of like um yeah it's actually just yuzu hot but it's really nice and there's a lot of c vitamins in this so if you're cold and sick or just getting sick, this is really nice. If you like the video, please give it a big like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!